So now that we have the board turned on, let's talk about how to use it. This is what we call the ViewBoard OS. Essentially, it's a built-in computer. Now, it's a very light one, so you can do a few basic things like browsing or whiteboarding. Now, the browser is very basic, so sometimes it's better to connect our teacher laptop, in this case, our MacBook, because our MacBook already has all of our content on it, especially if we use something like the Chrome browser, which syncs all of our bookmarks. Now, in order for us to connect our MacBook to the board so that we can use it, we're gonna need to get those cables that were in the accessory box. Now, they might already be plugged into the board, but if they're not, here's what they are in review. First, we're gonna have what's called the HDMI cable. Remember, the HDMI cable is a pretty common cable. It's what we use on our TVs at home, and it usually connects to like our DVD players and our cable boxes. This is for audio and video. And the second cable we're gonna be using is the USB touch cable. Again, a semi-familiar cable uh, with USB on it. So one side is gonna be more rectangular, which is gonna plug into our Mac. The other side is going to have a uh, bump on it, right? So it looks more like a square with a bump that actually plugs into the board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect both of these cables and then let's connect it to our Mac. So as I mentioned before, HDMI first. And HDMI is gonna plug into the HDMI one port on the side. So again, that's HDMI one. And then our touch cable is going to plug into touch one. Now, as you're looking back there, you might notice that there's also a touch two port. It's very important you don't plug your USB cable into touch two or we won't have touch. Touch one and HDMI one are also both blue. Remember that blue and blue go together so those colors match. Now that we have our cables plugged into the board, we need to connect these to our laptop. Now most Macs use an adapter to connect, which is what I have on my Mac as well. So I'm gonna plug in the USB and I'm gonna plug in the HDMI. Now, something that happens when you first connect a device to the board is it automatically switches to the active input. So you can see here that the board automatically switched to my MacBook. I didn't even have to press any buttons. That being said, if you ever accidentally hit this home button, again, which is on the front of the panel next to the power button, what that does is it switches from our Mac and takes us back to that ViewBoard OS. So the way that I get back to my Mac, there's two ways I can do it. One is I can choose HDMI 1 on the bottom left, because remember, that's what I plugged into was HDMI 1. And if I touch that, you'll see here that it takes me back to my MacBook. Another way that I can switch, let's press the home button again so we're back at the ViewBoard OS. Another way I can switch is if I go to settings. So the settings cogwheel, again, is one of the buttons on the front right. That's gonna open a list of inputs over on the right. So you can see there, uh, I'm currently on the ViewBoard OS and HDMI 1 is an option. Now the difference here is that if I touch HDMI 1 once like that, it's gonna show a preview, but I actually have to touch it again to switch. So watch, if I touch it again, then you'll see it takes me to my Mac. So again, two ways to switch inputs, either touch the HDMI 1 in the bottom left corner or go to your settings and then on the list, you'll see the different inputs. Touch HDMI once to preview it, touch it again to actually switch to your Mac. So let's go ahead and have you connect your MacBook to the board. Remember, use both cables, and if you need to, switch inputs so that your Mac is being displayed.